All right, folks, here we go. We are back. I want to show you the row. I am uh, actually stunned at what we're seeing here tonight. I think that is uh, what time is it? 1101. It's, that is, that's my paddock. I suppose I want to show you. I can't believe what we are seeing. Folks, good evening, everybody. We're back. Now, this area has become like the media camp. This Matt. Hold on to this thing. Johnny. It's good. Do your thing. Do your thing. Folks, I don't want to disturb. This is where they found it. Hey, man. I'm going to walk down this way. It's Johnny from Channel 12. Folks, I want to show you, and again, good evening, everybody. We're back. And I want to show you why I cannot believe this. Um, so I, I ate at this McDonald's today. And we were down half mile, quarter mile, maybe. And all the media is assembled here because he was found. You can see the police officers right across the street. So this road is blocked. And right down there is main recycling. So now what I don't understand, folks, and again, good evening, everybody. Um, let me just double check. Let me... Okay, team one. You know, I thought I'd take... Thank you, Robin. I thought I... Oh, wait a minute. How's our uh, audio? I need an audio check. Uh, I don't see team one members here. Okay. I think, um, I think we should be okay. Oh, good. Thank you. All right, it is okay. I'm not sure. Thank you, Robin. So, folks, I, um, as you know, we want to be uh, pro back the blue here. But, um, whew, uh, this one I am very surprised at because I, I went by this Walgreens. So, I want to just show you a little bit. When we go this way, see where that van is going right now? When you go that way, where we were earlier today with the, the launch was is right down there. And that's where his car was found. And so today, the media, we were like coming here. I almost re went into the Walgreens to get something. I did visit this McDonald's. And then at 7.50 tonight, they find him in a dumpster right down at the end of this road where he had worked previously. You can see the police at the bottom, and they're not letting anybody through. It's main recycling. So I have to admit, folks, I am... Um, I am... Hola, one and all. Folks, it's Friday night. It's one again. You know, certain people say they, they want more on the scene live stream. This is, uh, we, I think we've set a record for the amount today. But folks, I, I want you to, um, you know, tomorrow's supposed to be a beautiful day and I'm anxious to get back so we can focus on everything in Providence and Rhode Island. But the media has set up here. But I gotta tell you, I'm a little stunned because let's just, um, <laughs> that's the foliage. <laughs> Well, I'm up here some leap peeping. I don't know. I mean, it's like Cars Pond. I don't I don't get Maine. No offense. I don't get the whole thing. Uh, looks like South Kingstown. Looks like Burville. Looks like North Smithfield. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's fine. But <laughs> whatever. People that like it, they like it. But anyhow. Um, folks, so let's just play this out. Yeah, they found him in a dumpster. He, he offed himself right down at the bottom of this hill where he had worked. 
So, folks, I mean, I'm not trying to be Columbo here, but the police are blocking and you can't get down there. I am telling you, I, I went by this area no less than three times today. And I, when I finished um, the noon report, I mean, I never do fast food, but like there was nothing open. I went to this McDonald's drive through and you couldn't go in the lobbies closed um, because of the, you know, the fugitive on the loose. And then, you know what? I, I can't believe this. I sat in my car and ate a crispy chicken sandwich. I'm going to show you exactly where. Do a reenactment. Um, I think the McDonald's is closed. I was looking, you know. See. Oh, there's all cars here. All right. Let's see. I was the one. These are all the TV stations. Folks, there's actually press from all over the world. Okay, right here. Right where this white car is. The main plate. And they have the picnic benches. I sat right here in my car at, I don't know, 110, 115. Had a quick... Um, what, what kind of, they have like pumpkin ice coffee or something? I don't know. And then, um, <laughs> and I, I'm looking down the hill of where the friggin' guy is. Holy, holy. Now, um, tomorrow, the press conference could get interesting. Now, tonight, and again, folks, it's Juan on the scene. Here we are. The, the re, the, you can see the way the media is camped out here. Um, everybody suddenly left some of the other spots. And now, when you look left and right, it's, it's all the press. Because everyone came booking over here to then do the 11. So we saw Matt Paddock of uh, Channel 10, 12, excuse me. Thank you for the stars, everybody. And then, um, what? but Robert Card, that's right. So, but what I am stunned at is... Let's just play this out. I am telling you, at the bottom of this hill, in that direction, see the guy in the uh, gray, no, um, uh, beige, tan jacket right there? If you go down that direction, that's where we were earlier. That's where the water is. And so I'm just saying, okay, so he left his car there by the water. And they were, I think they were kind of stuck on this thing about a boat. But I, th I think you might say, okay, what's around here? What's his connection? Oh, well, he used to work around here. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I think we're going to find out tomorrow. He must have walked down there, right down that hill, right up this road. I don't even think it's a mile. Maybe a mile, half mile. If that, there's a subway over there on the right as well. That was closed. Like a lot of this stuff was closed today. Um, I'm also surprised. Normally a Walgreens would have security cameras out front. Maybe because it's main. Watch, watch this car. Just for distance. And watch when the car disappears down the hill. You're going to see him in just a moment. Actually, you can see another car coming this way. Um, I mean, it's not far at all. So, but he was found, and apparently he worked down at the end of this street. I'm going to pull it up. Is main recycling. I know, Karen. Well, here's what, and thank you for the stars, everybody. So, folks, some of the reporters started saying, well, wait a minute. The Lisbon chief said that they had searched this area. So, I mean, as I think of it now... I, I don't remember seeing this blocked off and I don't remember seeing any police. Instead of having my McDonald's original crispy chicken sandwich, I wonder if I should have driven down the hill. I could have found him. But everybody was a little freaked because of, you know, because of the whole armed fugitive thing. So, but I, I um, folks think we heard Canada we heard it. He, he, oh boy. 
I mean, all right, let me show you where we are. I'm trying to remain positive here. I mean, listen, everybody's relieved they found him, but mm, I know, Karen. The part that I'm getting is I'm telling you, eesh, I hate to even say this, but they found him a mile away from where the car was. See that? See where I am? The blue dot, and that's Main Recycling Corporation. Watch, watch. This is good. Watch. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay. See the blue dot where I am? Domino's Pizza, Food City. Um, that's at the bottom of that hill. See the main recycling corporation with the red Lisbon High School? So, I mean, that's where he worked. That's where they found the body. 7.50 tonight. Maybe. Maybe he took the boat. No, no, no. I don't, I don't know if he took the boat down the river down there. Possible. You know, I, I think we'll find out. I think it'd be easy to walk. I mean, I think it'd be tough at night with the river. Folks, I want to show you, um, for those that were watching earlier, all right, I'm at the blue dot. I know, they wouldn't ask that. I'm at the blue dot. He was found at the, see the red main recycling corporation? Now, see that thing that says the Big Dipper? That That's where, that's where we were today. Eka Mouse, that's not that... I mean, that's, that's a three iron. Well, he got in the, if he shot himself, how did he get in the dumpster? Somebody want to answer that one? Thank you for the stars. Um, do I really have to answer this? If he shot himself, how did he get in the dumpster? Let's, let's rewind that. He maybe did take the walking path. So who wants to answer Debbie? Do I have to answer her? Exactly. He climbed in the dumpster and then shot himself. Well, if he shot himself, how did he get in the dumpster? Oh, boy. We got the low IQ crowd. Well, it is late. Who knows if people have been drinking? Oh, my goodness, folks. Juan's a little punchy. <laughs> now, wait a minute. How do you shoot yourself and then climb into a dumpster? Right. True. Very good point, Debbie unless you climbed first into the dumpster and then shot himself. You know what else? Um, listen, I, obviously a nitwit, and I feel bad. I don't know that much about the son. He has a son. He left the suicide note for the son. He, um... No, that happened. Well, look, look at, do you see the body get transported? Are you, you're not looking. I mean, the, the, the police are blocking off see them get carted away um the, the the facility is down at the bottom of that hill no no i didn't i don't think anybody has that <laughs> yeah that's right anthony so the dumpster shot him thank you felicia glad you're just finding out all right leave out what is this what do you mean trump 2024 enough of the bullshit we're not even talking about that L robin block that guy i don't give a shit fucking people push me no, I, I, I'm well aware what a medical examiner truck is. I'm telling you, uh, they found him at 7.50. We just had a press conference. Um, I have not seen that anyone has the medical examiner truck. I'm well aware what medical examiner truck, ever hear of it? That's what they take the body away? Yeah, I, I, I'm aware of what, what the frig it is. Folks, late night. Here we go. The F-bomb start. I, I'm telling you. Ever hear of a medical exam? Yeah, I, I've heard of the fucking medical examiner truck, okay? Jesus. Yeah, apparently. Now, hold on. He was shot by a dumpster. No, he was not shot by a dumpster. Oh, no, I'm not getting confused. I haven't had anything to drink, unfortunately. Unlike this crowd. All right, I won't fare a ball. We'll watch the F-bombs. Unless we do 200 an F-bomb. No one piss me off. 
Alicia, you don't even know I was in Maine. So, like, chill out. Yes. Oh, are you in Maine? No, no, I'm not in Maine. See that? That's the Walgreens in uh, Pawtucket. <laughs> there isn't anything. Yeah, here come the F-bombs. Well, I mean, so he got shot by a dumpster. No. no. Wait a minute. How did he get in the dumpster? Oh, all right. Well, not everybody wants to be on the live stream, apparently. That's all right. I am. I am being nice. Always brings out a certain type of crowd. Folks, again, I want to show you what you're looking at right now. All right. You know, hey, whatever. I'm just saying it's kind of been up here almost 24 hours now. So that's all. No biggie. Um... Yeah, that's right. They have not said that yet, Amanda. Not a problem. Um, they they have not said anything about, um, you know, if they found a gun. But thank you very much, Farrah Paul. Let's let's look at this. Again, folks, um, we have, I, no, uh, where the gunshot was, was much farther up the road, much farther up the road. So it wouldn't have been that one. D, listen, uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long night. If you don't like it, you don't have to be here. So the, the, the oh, um, it's about a 10 minute ride, 10 minute ride. Well, I just left and it took me that. Here we go. Okay. So, I don't, he, he, uh, one person was talking today that they saw him, the moderator will tell you, that they saw the white car leaving and he was just driving like very, very calmly. Now here, what you're looking at is this was a rush for the 11 o'clock news, all the news stations. And, but what I find um, really interesting, folks, and it, hey, buddy, slow down. What I find um, really interesting is, um, is I, I think they're going to have to answer some questions tomorrow over... How was it this close and they didn't even, you know, find it? I showed it earlier, Marie. You're a little late. Uh, is he in police custody? Uh, technically, yes. Technically, yes. They have him. I'll say that. They have him. And Steve in police custody. Well, the police have him. Right, but he is actually dead. Yes. He apparently he took his own life. But the police do have him. Is Margaret. Yep. You know, I agree with you, Amanda. That that would that would be my guess. There's Ryan. Hola. Thank you, Rob. Uh no, I think exhausted, Anthony. I don't know about that. I don't know that much. I haven't covered it. Thank you, Steve. Um, <laughs> that's right, Nick. You know, it's it's like the uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm of um, are they sure it's him? You know, I'm seeing a lot of questions from someone who's not even a fucking subscriber. So there goes the end of that. Thank you, Teresa. Yes. Folks, the non-subscribers... Little word to the wise. Yeah, that's right, John Beckman. Um, I, I'd go easy on all the comments when, you know, it's like you're an intruder in a way. You can quietly watch, but I would just go easy with a lot of the comments. Yeah, this is Pawtucket, Rhode Island. All the main plates. Now, I would, I'm telling you, Aaron, chislers is what they are. See where it says Town of Lisbon? 
Someone sent me earlier. Are you in Spain? Lisbon, Spain? Yeah, I'm in Lisbon, Spain. That's all the main license plates. I don't know what that means. Am I doing a drive-by tonight? Thank you, Rob. You better. You told me the other day you would, Chisler. I would think so, Candace. I'm glad you said that. I was thinking the same thing. I know. It's 24 cents a week. Uh, if that means am I doing a drive-by tonight, yeah, I'm going to find Snoop Dogg, and we're going to try to find Tupac. Am I doing a drive-by? I don't know what that means. Thank you, Shirley, watching from Daytona Beach. The butler is Christina. What does that mean? Am I doing a drive-by tonight? A drive? Yeah, I'm gonna spray some bullets by somewhere. What? Like, what does that even mean? Thank you, Sandra. Folks, we. This is a one, two, three. Thank you, Stephanie. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Thank you. There's Audrey Albert. Tommy Bryan. Yeah, I'm in Spain. Yep, I'm in Spain. And uh, you know what's odd? Being here in Lisbon, uh, no, Portugal. That was the question. Are you in Portugal? Why do you ask that? Well, I saw Lisbon. You know what's odd about being in Portugal is all these main license plates. <laughs> and everyone seems to speak English. Yeah, I, I drove here. Are you doing a drive-by tonight? Watching from Tennessee, there's Joyce Smith. Are you just going to sit there and watch the cars drive by? Well, there's another person that wants to get banned. I'm in a banning mood. I don't even know what that means. Thank you, Brianna, watching from Boston. Thank you, Robert. Yes. There's Brenda telling you. There's people. If one more person Just had, whoa, right oh, our shot. I'm sorry. And we're feeding live, thank you. Okay. Well, that's flexible. Guess what? How, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? If one more person asked me if I was bringing Ladybug with me, there was going to be another mass shooting. What's this? Brenda Lee, I know that guy. Ugh. I don't even want to read this. Thank you. There's Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Yeah, I drove to Spain. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Anthony. Anthony has a good sense of humor. Imagine that. They have the Walgreens in Spain. No, it's Portugal, right? Lisbon, Portugal. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Oh, she from my couch. That guy asked it twice there, too. Ah. Oh. Oh, drive by at work mall the other night. I, you know, how, how am I supposed to freak? You know how long ago that seems? I drove Allison. You know what's amazing is I was in Rhode Island Thursday night, and on Friday morning, I was in Lisbon. Is it Lisbon, Spain, or Portugal? It's people. Thank you, Rob. What makes you say that, Louis? Well, put it this way. He's in police custody. It does look like a PD, Cranston PD cruiser. Thank you, this Philip Babcock. That woman, did you know you're in a shot? Well, hey, watch the use of the word shot. He's right down there. Well, he was down there. Juan, what are you doing in Spain? Oh, you know, I drove. You just All you do is you keep the windows up. And, um, and that way the water doesn't seep in. <laughs> Are you bringing Ladybug? Uh, I'm going to tell the shooter he missed someone. Can someone answer that question? Is it Lisbon, Spain, or Portugal? You got that right. Not that I'm aware of. Fianti. Not exactly a lot of Italian restaurants. In uh, in the Sopranos, remember when he's taking Meadow to Bowden, and they um, they run into someone that 
was in the witness protection program. Are you going to stand there and watch the cars? As opposed to what? I don't even know what these people are talking about. Granted, Juan's a little bit tired. Now, the media is not dying down. I, I can't believe that woman. Do you know you're in our shot? I got a better one for you. Do you know that I don't give up flying? That's where he is? That's where he is. Right across from where I had my McDonald's lunch. That's where they find him. It's Lisbon, Portugal. Okay. Portugal. Lisbon actually is the largest city in Portugal. All right, that makes a lot of sense. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. All right, let's, you know, you can't, you can't joke because then people believe it. Tragically. I used to pretend I had an intelligent audience. I like these people. It's your right. Thank you, Nancy. I like these people, it's your, what do you mean it's my audience? It's Rhode Island. You know, folks, here we are at the, the national, international story of the fugitive, and I had people sending me um, messages. Um, are you covering the Cranston kid that got hit tonight? Um, you know, I'm going to zip back and uh, hard maybe on that one. Am I covering the Cranston accident? Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go four hours through traffic to get there because somebody got hit on that one avenue. No, listen, I didn't feel bad about that. But. You know what? There's just too many drugs. That's the problem. Yeah, he does. I don't think this is very... All right, I'll be honest, folks. Right. I don't think this is a very good. It's 11:28. I don't think this is a good look for the police. Crying out loud. Like this is where he is. This is where he is. They they were late alerting the Canadian authorities. We we were hearing that all the lead. I was building it up. Tell me about it. I was building it out then. Top law enforcement, the whole thing. Uh, talk to one of the moderators, Rob. It's very complicated. I, I don't understand that, Shiloh. Um, but again, now it was night and everyone's rushing in the other direction. So I'm anxious to hear if they even know how we got over there. But someone just walking alone at night, and it wasn't late, right? I mean, the, the shootings were after 7. He could have been here by 7.30. Um, all right, there you can see. Now you see more police activity. Oh, yeah, now they're going down there. I don't, I don't know if there's more to the story. I don't, unfortunately, I... I don't think there is more to the story. <laughs> what do you mean there's more to the story? I, I don't think there is. That's like Elaine saying, you know, maybe there's more to Newman. Newman, no. Actually, there isn't anything more to Newman. I don't think there is. He left his car half mile from here, went to a place that he used to work. No, no update. We're all out of updates, Joe. No updates for Chislers. Can I get an update? Here's an update. No more updates tonight. We're closed. Thank you, Dan Larkin. I appreciate that. Well, that's a, that's the problem, John Beckman. Uh, but the good news about driving is they don't, you know, hit you so much. Oh, yeah. Like, I give a shit about the World Series. Remember when we used to watch the World Series? Jennifer, he was found at the bottom of that hill where he used to work at the Massain... Uh, the Massain... The, the, um, oh, oh, okay. The main, um, recycling center. 
How long are they on for? I don't. Yes. We can't use humor. I've learned that, folks. Sarcasm doesn't translate. I don't think so. Uh, if they found the boat over there, I, I don't think so. I don't know where the boat is, but I don't. That's right. Do you think so, Lois Sam? Hold on, folks. We may have breaking news. If he killed himself in the dumpster, the gun could be in there. You mean you don't think he killed himself and then got rid of the gun? <laughs> Thank you, Katie Dodge. Well, I know, but how, like, how long? What do you mean that you're still in our live shot? How, how long are they live? But, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're doing an extended report. Juan's trying to get along with everybody here. Bane's okay. Well, that's all right. Hey, we had excellent positioning for the press conference tonight. Right? All right, don't get in her shot. Yes. Someone else can tell you. We we're sold out of updates. Unless you're a subscriber, don't even ask. No updates for Chislers. Sorry, Alligator Arms. We'll have to get the sign language for the non-subscribers. I'm telling you, we're moving more and more of the content to subscriber only. No. Oh, all right. Tommy Bryan wants one? Okay. All right, folks. So they found the fugitive we're in we're in lisbon maine and where they he comes more there goes the sheriff so they found him they uh he died from a oh, canine self-harm gunshot he was found at 750 tonight <laughs> dan larkin everyone else does and that is such it's so ridiculous that that clown is on that's right brenda so tommy they found him so the search is over, but there's certainly questions about how did they not, I think, find him earlier. Um, they found his vehicle. I'm, I'm going to double check. They found his vehicle, I think, Wednesday night or Thursday, half a mile from here. Oh, here we go, Joyce Smith. Someone could have killed him, put him in the dumpster if the gun is not there. Someone could have killed him and put him in the dumpster. What is that based on? There's Bridget. Folks, Bridget's Cleaning Service. Call her today. She's the best. She's fantastic. She's a star. Yes. More content's going to subscriber only. In an effort to get rid of the chiselers. So, just to finish... Just to finish up, Tommy. Um, so it's Friday night. Here comes the vehicle. Friday night. It was Wednesday night, shortly after 7 o'clock when this happened. A manhunt went on. It's going on for all of yesterday, all of today. And then they just announced tonight at the press briefing at 10 o'clock that they have located him and he was found in a dumpster at the end of this road at a place he used to work called the uh, Maine Recycling. But what is um, certainly needs some clearing up is what needs some clearing up is you now everybody's filming right now so I want to it's possible. I don't. Is anyone waiting for the medical exam? I don't know. It's just police. I don't think anyone's taking any chances. That's right. I'll share Bridget's page. So I think some of the reporters earlier tonight were asking and claiming that, so, there's Lewister, where the shooting took place. 
We are in Lisbon, not Portugal. We are 12 minutes, 12 minutes from where the shooting took place, right around there, maybe 15. So, so now reporters were claiming that they asked the Lisbon sheriff or chief who we did, um, we were speaking with him earlier today during uh, the noon report. And they claim that they asked him specifically if this location was searched and that they were told that it had been searched. So, but it all depends on what you mean by searched. Thank you, Lydia. No one tell Dennis. <clears throat> All right, folks, I'm going to move to this other side just because there's a lot of cars coming up here. So 10 o'clock, folks, I am curious to hear. Now, again, at the bottom of this hill, what I do find odd, but we'll wait to see tomorrow. But it, I want to be really clear about something. Is um, Oh, good. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Elizabeth Flynn. Glad someone could answer that. Um. It's very possible. He was found in the clothes from Wednesday night. So folks, it's just, if we want to play this out, it's very possible that he has been at the bottom of this hill in a dumpster dead since eight o'clock Wednesday night. That is very possible. I think, I don't know. I think they should be able to determine how long he's been down there or been in there, I should say. So, I don't know what that means. I already was at a hotel. I mean, I'm not driving back now. Here's Joshua David. All right, folks, again, so... Again, at the very bottom. I think so, Rose. I think so, but I don't know if they're going to know tomorrow. Um, there's some questions to be answered. Listen, at the very least, they are relieved that... They're relieved that, as they were saying, he's not going to kill anyone else. That they have... Um, I know that they have located him. And he is deceased. But, oh, good. Hi there, Ron Marshall from New Hampshire. I don't know, Felicia. He did leave a suicide note. But this is walking distance from where he left the vehicle, left the car. So that's a little confusing. I, I wonder, t t tomorrow, I don't know, tomorrow could be, uh, yes, he left a note. I'm going to leave all the details for the subscribers. He left a note to his son. You know, that's what I meant to say earlier. He left a note to his son that had all his bank account information. And the problem is, I don't know if problem is the right word, but... Where is not thought out well, folks, is, I mean, all the families that were shot or wounded or killed, they're, they're all going to go after whatever money his family has. So, 
the sun is not going to see a nickel. So whatever money this killer had, the sun's not going to, you know, that'll be, they'll go after it. They'll, whatever it'll be, they'll, I would imagine, rightfully get it. So I think so, Richard. Now, they found him at 750. I, I mean, I don't believe, I'd be very surprised if he's not gone already. Um, oh. Whoa. There is nobody blocking. Let's see, folks. Does this mean we can go down the hill? Who'll be the first one? There's no police blocking us now. Who's going to walk with me? Some people are going there down the hill. Yeah. But the police have opened it up. All right, we could totally take a ride, right? I think we could take a ride. All right. Instead of walking. All right, let's take a ride. With some dogs. Can you see the police presence? Yeah, I mean. All right, folks, let's go see what's at the bottom of the hill. Everyone's going to the bottom of the hill. Uh, maybe I should just hold it. Okay, I'll just hold it. Yeah. Here we go. All right, everybody, let's see what everyone's seeing. Juan's going right to the bottom of the hill. All right, we have a little media. Well, uh, there we go. We have a little bit of a backup here. Wow, look at this. Are you seeing all these lights? Whew. Is everybody pulling over? 
All right, so now see we leapfrog. Everybody moves up ahead. Um, I gotta pull in somewhere. Oh, wow. Here we go. Screw it. All right, folks, we've made it to the bottom of the hill. Yes, very much. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. Very much so. All right, still can't see a lot. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, I appreciate that. We've set up a new perimeter. I, they, they, we can't go down here, so is it maybe there? This is. Um, Everybody is clear. No pedestrians yeah. and no vehicles beyond this point. Very okay. Good. Okay. Is it here? Uh, I mean, he didn't say. He didn't say anything about. Wait. Do you, do you think it's to the left? Okay. So I, I think it's over here. I don't know. I mean, this is public works transfer station. Well, we'll do that. Or maybe it is down there. Yeah, because he's the recycling. Yeah. I think it's that one. If I'm gonna guess. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The question is, how long did he been down here? I can't believe it. Why here? Like, since Wednesday night? Just walked over here? I, I ate at that McDonald's today. I was looking down here. I should have driven down here. You didn't see anything? I didn't see anything, and the road was open. Yeah. Well, the... The reporters from CNN were saying that the Lisbon chief told them that they had searched this place because he worked here. Yeah. So, but how well did they search it?
folks, this is where everybody is now centered. Thank you. Yep, that is exactly right. Folks, our live coverage continues. It's very pleasant out. So I'm guessing that it's right down here. I'm gonna show you right now. That's it, yeah. Yep. So, but we don't know where the dumpster was. I agree, Brenda. It's very odd. Very odd. So, folks, you got to think he walked right down here. And then, as Debbie was saying, we have some uh, detectives that believe on the live stream that the gun must have been found in the dumpster because then otherwise, and then when we all we have the people that start saying maybe someone killed him, put him in there, which I don't believe. Well, folks, this is the site for everybody. Come around this way. That's the best shot. Right here, again, good evening, one and all. I, I, uh, very curious, folks, tomorrow for the uh, briefing. Oh, wow, we are so close. Look at that, 97% for our October goal. So close. But that's where they found them. In a dumpster. Right there. Yep, well, the, we are looking at the building. He was somehow, now we don't know if the container uh, uh, dumpster was inside, outside. I would imagine outside. So, but it's, it is odd. There's a lot of things that are odd about this. This is Amy. Oh, we are joined by greatness. Oh my goodness. The amazing race, former Miss US, Rhode Island, USA. Um. Folks, what's also odd about this is normally, normally you would also check all kinds of dumpsters and everything with canines to look for evidence, you know, that maybe as he was running, he dumped something off here. So now I, I don't know, I would think 
It looks like someone's house. You would think that I, I, we're gonna have to, I don't want to speculate, but I'm, Folks, we're going to go get our good mic. That's interesting. Folks, this could be a... Uh, what time is it? <laughs> this could be a, like a... A late night briefing here. 11.57. All right. Get everything. I'm gonna go like this. Oh wow! How about that? Um, hold on. Don't mind me. Everybody bear with me. We're gonna switch around and we're gonna stay for this briefing of this chief. Bear with me, everybody. It'll be worth it. We must be bordering on up 24 hours. Here we go. Where is it? Here we go.
All right. Are we ready? Let's rock it. All right, folks, here we go. 5,500 stars. Let's get set up here. Uh, where's my spot? All right, everybody, bear with me. All right, let's uh, double check our sound. I think our sound should be okay. Folks, we are uh, ready. This is very interesting that the Lisbon police chief is going to do a press briefing with us at midnight. Wow. Last midnight press briefing was Portsmouth. <laughs> the Portsmouth murder. Thank you, Aaron Brown. Yes, thank you, everybody. All right, folks, we are standing by. And the first question is, what is going on here? Why was he found? Was this place searched? Thank you, Brenda. Folks, why not? I am very surprised. FBI, state police... all the resources and he is found less than a mile from where he left his car at a place that he worked very surprising all right folks again you're watching on the scene live stream coverage remember um this this is going to be big if he comes so make sure everybody you share that you are watching this is capitol avenue main recycling is located sources say in a dumpster i've heard other reports or near a dumpster oh now they're saying maybe David, maybe near a dumpster. That's even worse. <laughs> no, I mean, that's... Then I thought if he did it, then you can't see him because he's in the dumpster. Right, they didn't find him, and he was in a dumpster. Or, or near a dumpster would be worse. So how did they not like, find him in the initial search? I... <sighs> I mean, what were they looking for? <laughs> Yes. All right, folks, again, you're watching. What time is it? 12.06. Okay. Is it Saturday? Yes. Next, pre next briefing is in less than 10 hours. Oh, good. There's Bridget. Folks, Bridget Cleaning Service. We'll share that page. Uh, hmm. Someone's got to help Sandra Bisson. I'm seeing this now. Did he go live? I can't seem to find the... <laughs> hmm. Someone's got to help Sandra on the uh, subscriber page. Sure. If 
for those that are just tuning in, this uh, should be interesting with this uh, police chief from Lisbon. That's where we are. I'm, I'm going to show you on a map where we are, just so everyone is clear. The, the building you see lit up on the left side of your screen, that is where he was found, the fugitive. And there's a report that he had worked there. So, very unusual. Um, I, I don't know. What, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to get too much into some of these conspiracy things. So he went, did the shooting, and then someone, is this like the parallax view? And then someone, what, placed him in there? Oh. Chief McGee apologizes that he actually won't be able to make it down here. Oh. Uh. He wanted to let everyone know that there will be a 10 a.m. press brief at Lutheran City Hall tomorrow morning. And he'll be at that. He'll be at that one. Okay, folks. It turns out that there will not be. The chief is not coming down. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Boy. Maybe he didn't realize he had agreed that someone said he was going to be here. Thank you, everybody. Yep, 10 a.m. All right, we'll be there for that. We might as well. I'll drive back after that. So, again, uh, we might as well do a little bit of a recap. That building that you see in the distance, that's where he was found. Okay. Fox, so apparently the local station, there was an initial report was that he was found in a dumpster now and i appreciate that now people are starting to say they think he was found near a dumpster now if he was um no the news doesn't like to twist stuff it's that it's a fluid situation michelle Furman. so shut the fuck up non-subscriber skin flint yeah that's right Aaron um, so <laughs> news likes oh shut up I can't stand people like that boy am I in a banning mood no I um news said near a river well there is a river right around here <laughs> thank you Anthony there is one Van by the down by the river. Thank you, Brenda. The news like oh shut up. Get the fuck out of here. Plain English. Good morning, Paul. Ah uh, yes, thank you, Aaron. It does run behind. Let me um thank you, Aaron. Okay, we can move over a little bit here. The French friends. Folks, we have uh, French reporters next to us. Well, I mean, it's just stupid. Thank you, Cecilia. Let me uh, find myself here. Did I mention I got up but left at 5 a.m.? Folks, also, um, okay, here we go. And it's not your imagination. I am it. Thank you, Renee Cook. Folks, Juan is in his uh, Central Falls police jacket. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, uh, how close is this to Canada? Uh, nowhere? We're in Maine. <laughs> We're in Lisbon, Maine. We're, we're 15 minutes from Lewister, right? Thank you, Tommy Bryan. Yes, folks. Again, left. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle left at 5 a.m. The heaviest traffic I hit this morning was trying to get through downtown Providence. <laughs> Massachusetts flowed fine. Boston flowed right through. New Hampshire, no problem. Maine, New Hampshire. I found out this morning. <laughs> Thank you, John Beckman. 
I found out this morning, we're so close to our goal. Um, I know, I will, Lois, I'll wake up anyway. But I, um, I found out this morning the DOT forgot to um, move the cones from the overnight construction. So that's why it was one frigging lane trying to get through. Like, what? There's, there's incompetence, and then there's Rhode Island incompetence. Folks, I want to once again reiterate this. Drove from Rhode Island up here to Maine this morning. Left at 5 a.m. The biggest backlog of traffic I hit was trying to get through downtown Providence. Because DOT... Thank you, Felicia. DOT, like, I, I wish, that's a press conference I would like to attend. Could, could, you, could we walk through where someone forgot to remove the cones from the overnight construction? <laughs> I want you to just, I, I know that's not what we're talking about, but I, I've been stuck on it all day. That should have been the fastest, easiest ride, right, was just exiting through the state. I was about to go 295, and then I thought, no, they won't. What what traffic would they be on 95 to go shoot right up to Boston at 5 a.m.? Well, if you forgot to leave the cones and move them from the overnight construction, it was backed up past Thurs there was Avenue. It's like in absolute insanity. Cruise through Massachusetts. Did I mention that? Cruise through Boston, which is that's the big one. You want to avoid the traffic for rush hour. No problem, New Hampshire. No problem, Maine. Thank you, Lois. Uh, so anyhow, all right. I, I Let's not hold our breath there, Elizabeth. What was I talking about? You know what else is? There's nothing open that I could even, like, go pound one or two drinks. All right. Fine, Michelle. We get it. Hope he's okay. All right, we're, we're dealing with a, a fugitive that's been on the run that they found dead. But I, I want to just, again, folks, um, we'll be there tomorrow morning. We'll be there tomorrow morning. Well, I already got one, Felicia. I already told that. But you, you missed out earlier. So, folks, when we finished, I was like, all right, I'm not going to go back. Because then, if anything, I was speaking with people locally. I'm like, I'm going to stay. If something happens, I want to be here. And then sure enough, something did happen. So that's already established. I was already staying. Um, if they didn't find him tonight, I was going to still go to the 10 o'clock press conference tomorrow. And then tomorrow, again, continue the search. So I don't know why I, I've already established that. The one mistake I made was not showering. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, Erica. I, you know, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I went on, um, whatchamacallit, the app. What's the app that I have? Booking.com. And you just type in your area, and it was totally fine. All right. We are going to wrap it up a little bit. Um, folks, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> I was. Thank you. Lydia, I was like, you know what, I'll get a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow will be a full day, and then this broke loose, and now it's 12.15, and um, I, it's not that, Elizabeth, but it just, like, perks you up and freshens you up a little bit, so, all right, thank you to everybody. Folks, we will be back tomorrow morning, more coverage. You've been watching On the Scene, yes, live stream. Again, I'm going to show you one more time where they found him. Right there. Mean recycling. We are 250 stars away from 7,000. I think Ed wanted to send 250. <laughs> this is Ken Lowe. I saw him the other night. Folks, we're going to stay on. Hold on. I'm going to stay on until we hit 7,000. Nope. Close. Almost. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you.